Now, we're talking about a couple of really old-fashioned things here. First of all, ox tongue. Now, I was brought up on ox tongue. My mother used to make a really nice pressed ox tongue, which was served in slices with a nice salad. And I loved it. Now, I know it's not to everyone's taste, and I do realise that, and I apologise if it's not your thing, but the other old-fashioned thing is a pressure cooker. Now, I do remember my mother all, also swearing quite loudly once, and my mother didn't swear at all, but she swore quite loudly when she opened the pressure cooker and, and the stew decorated the ceiling. Well, these days, they're a lot more, lot more efficient and not as, and, and actually fairly foolproof, particularly this one from Cuisinart, which is actually an electric pressure cooker, and it's an absolute ripper, so I, I thought I'd better cook something in it, and so I'm doing this tongue, and I've got one large tongue that I got from the butcher, and of course it's been brined. 24, 48 hours, something like that. And to add, we just add a few flavours. To add, we just add... To that, we just add a few flavours. One onion, coarsely chopped. A carrot, the same. Some whole black peppercorns. About, oh, half a dozen or so. A couple of cloves of garlic. This is so that we get a nice flavoursome broth that we can just pour over it when it's finished. So we're adding the flavours here. We actually do strain these vegetables out and put some fresh vegetables in later. But I'll talk about that in a minute. Not quite yet. I'll just get that garlic off. And some sprigs of parsley, just whole sprigs like that, about half a dozen or so. And then we just cover that with some stock. Now, yes, you can use water for this. I I'm a great fan of using these packet stocks and purely and simply for anything that I do because they add extra flavour. And don't waste what's left over of the stock because I often make a soup using it and using some of the over tongue sliced finely, but we can do that another time and we will. So cover it generously. You could actually fit a couple of ox tongues in here. So I'm just doing one today, but you certainly could do two. And just make sure that's covered and as i said you don't waste that stock because it'll have a lovely flavor and then we put the lid on which is always the hardest thing to me there we go oh you're getting good at this and let's press the start button what i'm going to do with this is we'll bring it up to pressure and it automatically happens with this that's what's so good about it and we'll cook it for about 20 minutes and we'll check it then and the way to check if the tongue is ready is to just squeeze the thinnest part between, the tip of the tongue that is, between your fingers. And if that's quite softish, the tongue will be ready. So, 20 minutes, and then what are we going to do is we're going to put in some veggies. Let's have a look, Wayne, what I've got there. I'm going to put in about half of that cabbage, still with the core in so it stays together. A couple of leeks, a couple of carrots, and some chat potatoes. And they'll go back in with the strained stock and the tongue and we'll cook those for about another 10 or 15 minutes until everything's ready. So all up, it's only going to take us about 35 minutes, we hope, and we can have some delicious tongue, which is always a nice thing. Now, to go with it, we need a sauce. As we know, we've got that, those juices there, which we'll moisten it with, but we need a sauce too. And you need something a bit piquant for this. So we're going to make a sauce gribiche, which is a lovely sort of... It's not really a tart here, but it's sort of that kind of thing. One tablespoon of... Dijon mustard, tablespoon of red wine vinegar, a generous tablespoon that is, and some salt and pepper. And the easiest way to do is make this in the food processor. And five tablespoons of water, just cold water for that. And we just whiz that up off on. And what we do first, is very important, is, is we plug it in. Now we're in business. That always helps, doesn't it? Ah, I'm going well. Right. And to that we then add 150 grams, or 150 mils, I should say. I got so confused about the food process. 150 mils of canola oil. Just little by little like you do when you're making a mayonnaise. The oil's all added, and what we've got here basically is a very thin mayonnaise. As you can see, just have a look there, mate. And a nice 
nice and mustardy and red wine vinegary, so it's got some lovely flavours to it. Because you need something with a bit of, of oomph and also a bit of bite. Let's just get it all out. And then we've got a few other little things to add. First of all, a couple of hard-boiled eggs, or semi-hard. I've cooked them, put them into boiling water, brought them back to the boil and cooked them for eight minutes, and then I've chopped them fairly finely. You don't want a puree of it, but you do want to chop fairly finely. Some fresh thyme, not too much. Some chopped parsley, quite a bit of that. But you don't put too much thyme in because it does take over. And also a good tablespoon of coarsely chopped rinsed capers. And that's all there is to it. Now that's a delightful sauce to go with something like tongue, which needs a bit of piquancy. And we're in business. We've got our sauce. We're just waiting for our tongue to come up to pressure. And as I said, the good thing about this, it has actually a measurement on it. So I've said 20 minutes, then it will depressurize and we can have a look at our tongue. two-thirds of the way through being cooked for 20 minutes of course that was all it went in for and now what we do is we add the tongue back there with a few veggies a couple of things of leek same with carrots leek leave them in pieces you saw the cabbage that's just a quarter of a cabbage there some chat potatoes just scrubbed well and then we pour this back over and if you need any more stock to cover those veggies well you can just add a bit more and I think I need a little bit more to be fair the thing I love about pressure cookers apart from the fact that it keeps in all the juices is the sheer fact that it is so fast See, I'm putting that top on now. Have I got the top on? I think I have. We start again. I'll cook that for, I would say, about another 15 minutes. Certainly check it after 15. Just check that, that tongue to make sure it's ready. Remember? Squeeze the tip of the tongue between your fingers and when it's softish, it's ready. And the other thing that I must tell you about tongue is that you do need to let it cool a little before you peel it, but please peel the outer skin on while it is still hot. Because if you don't do that, you find it very, very hard to get the skin off cold tongue. Now, two things. You can either serve it straight away or you can reheat it. It's up to you guys. But the thing about it is, please, he's repeating himself, please peel it while it's still hot. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed yourself. Or should I say folks? Maybe folks. <laughs> anyway, whatever. We've finished. See you soon. If you'd like any recipes from today's show, please visit our website, hueyskitchen.com.au, for written recipes in our online shop, or send... Not everyone knows our new name, but we've got a track record going back 145 years. We haul around 500,000 tonnes of coal a day. So that's just the guys. We play an essential role in Australia's two biggest exports. So we take care of the little things too. We're a major port and rail freight transport. We'll see an even brighter future. QR National, moving nationwide.